things that say started off the manuscript, and then I um I just worked on this text for a while, and then I think I did about um I don't know eight revisions on on little dummies over the course of many months with my editor, and finally um, sold it as a book, and then started working on it, and then you saw it before it came out. I right. Believe, I, right. Yes, I got a piece of the book probably a few months before. It was published by Simon Schuster in 2010. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're always on the hunt, Chris and I, for exciting new ideas for movies. Mm -hmm. And we're particularly focused on children's books. Chris, my colleague here, um, brought in and found and developed the How to Train Your Dragon book series. And uh, we have a lot of projects that are based on books. Um, and so we're always on the hunt. We're looking everywhere and talking. To we have a lot of deep connections in the publishing world. And so we, this one, I think I saw a blurb about it in Publishers Weekly. And I called up a friend of mine at Simon & Schuster and said, this book looks really interesting. And he sent it over and I think she sent a hard copy. And I, it, it very, we very quickly we determined it had the three three key things that we look for. We look for a lot of things, but three key things. And a great title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a movie, you know, movie needs a great title. And, uh, you know, when you have a project that doesn't have a great title, it often gets lost. But um, this one had a great title. It had a great, surprising, funny, central character. <laughs> and it had a really relatable, emotional, universal experience at the center of it, the metaphor of the new baby as the boss. Mm. And uh, that's something, that relatable idea, that universal emotional core is something that's really hard to find. So when it's in a property from the very beginning, it's like a home run for us. So then we, I followed up with Marla's agent and then pick up the story, because I don't even know what happened. <laughs> what, what happened when you got that call? I can't remember like one moment of a call, but you know the news that it was being considered was, you know, obviously incredible. And um, I also didn't ever truly believe it would <laughs> be a movie. Even when I was like, we're in production. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the producer Ramsey came. They said we, we'd like to drop by the house. This is many years later. I'm not quite sure how many, but you know, are you going to be home? Are you? And I'm like, sure. So you came over with this great gift basket Shady. and said <laughs> ginger beer or some such bubbly. I, I can't. Yeah, it was fun and all these like noisemaker things and it was wonderful. And they they're like, we're in production, and I was kind of like. Okay. <laughs> I didn't really know <laughs> the vocabulary that that was. <laughs> you know, I, I, I didn't know that that meant what it actually meant. So this is definitely a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Then it I learned that. It doesn't guarantee a movie, but it's a good sign. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I always felt like it was incredible that it was optioned, but I, re I really honestly didn't, you know, want to put too much... Um, you know, into the idea that it would actually happen, and um, and then it just seemed to keep <laughs> all the markers were were just always yeah. so optimistic, and and then you know, DreamWorks has been so generous of in just like inviting me to the studio to sort of see what where things were and. Also really? very unusually, like you lived ten minutes away from me. So <laughs> even if you didn't, we would invite you over. Yeah, yeah. Extra special convenience. I'll be there. Yeah. So and just early on, you showed me, you know, just some, some real early conceptual things, and so every time I've I've seen anything, I've been blown away. Um, this is anything else in the story we're missing? Well, from my point of view, it was just fantastic. I, had to, I didn't have to do much on this one. I just watched these guys do all the hard work. It was, it was simply uh, fantastic. I, I think it'll be interesting maybe uh, perhaps for the audience to hear a little bit about um, what needed to be invented to take uh, the story. Because it's sort of, I think that whether it was going back, you know, Shrek was based on a picture book. 